for today's video, uh, we will be talking about chair confirmation. So chair confirmation um, happens for a cyclohexane. The structure right here, cyclo meaning the shape, the hexane meaning six sides. And so this shape would uh, would be made into a chair. Chair would be looking like this. Let me just erase that for a second. So the chair would be like this. And so um, for this chair, we would have uh, two sides. Uh, these sides would be called equatorial and axial sides, right? So before we move on, uh, there's other ways to draw this chair, but this is the way I, I prefer to draw it. And so if we had to uh, show which sides equatorial and axial, uh, we will start with the axial sides, and so the axial sides are these sides up here. So we got A for axial, right? Axial. We also got here A and A, and then we also have here A coming like this, and then we have A coming out like that. So now we have another side called the equatorial side. Equatorial would be on, on this right here. So that's E for equatorial. E. 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 Oh, so it's messing up right here. E. And one more. Where's it at? Yeah. E. So this is an axial and equatorial size. All right. So, for example, if you get you will get a problem like this. You'll be given uh, a cyclohexane, and then you might be given a wedge up here with chlorine on the top. Okay. This is an example, example problem, and a dash up here, a methyl group. All right, and then they'll have an, well, you can number it. It would be a blank, but you can number it if you want. So preferably, we would want uh, the sides that have the elements and compounds to be numbered first. That way you can see it better. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're asked to draw the, the chair conformation. So we would draw the chair. Again, there's another uh, other ways to draw the chair, but this is how I draw it. Right. So I would number the chair as well. So one, two, three, four. Five and then six over here, right? So don't worry about the numbers that don't have the elements. So three, four, five, six. Only, only uh, the important ones are the ones that have the elements and compounds. So the one and two for this case. In this case, right? All right. So now, when what, uh, how do you know where to put it? All right. So if we have a wedge, oops. We have a wedge. A wedge. A wedge means uh, up. Always means up. Coming out. Right. Now if we have a dash over here. A dash. Dash always means down. Dash always means a down. Now. When determining if it's axial or equatorial, we would first look at the numbers. So one and one we have a wedge. Wedge means up. Right. Now before we do that, we must know what's up, what's down on the chair cover. So easily. So one up here is up, six over here is down, because it's going down, downhill, five is up again. So we are up, down, up. Next, look at the bottom. A number four, it's down because it's down here. Number three, it's up because it's up here. Number two, it's down. It's down here. So uh, uh, down, up, down. So again, up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's like a pattern, right? You can just see it, the structure itself, right? However you want to draw it. Now, if we have the wedge, wedge is up, right? And number one over here is also up. So that means if it's up, up the same side, that means it's axial. So axial is up here on the one. So CL will go over here. And on the side, we just draw the hydrogen. Right, because it's hydrogen over here. Next, 
On number two, we have a dash, right? Dash means down, and over here on the structure, number two, it's down, it's down here. So down and down, same side, so that'll be the axial side. So we want the CH3, and then on that equatorial, it would be the hydrogen, right? So you can fill in for hydrogen for three, four, and five, six, but that's not really important, but it would look like it would look like this look like this if you had a complete structure. Right. So let's draw that structure again, actually, to be honest. Draw the structure again. Uh, okay. Let's draw the structure again. Okay, so if we have something like this, right? I'm exaggerating it, exaggerating it. and so we have Cl over here and CH3, right? And so they're both on the axial side, right? And so there's one common mistake over here. This is the same problem. So we can't have these bulky groups, these carbons on the axial side because it's not stable. We want to do something called a ring flip, right? A ring flip. And a ring flip, what it does, all you're doing is just flipping it to make it to go on the equatorial side because if a carbon is on the equatorial side, it's more stable, and that is what we want. We don't want bulky groups, the carbons, big carbons, on the axial, like over here. So draw the chair again. Right? So it was numbered 1, 2. This time, let's renumber it. Drop the 1 here. And then drop the two over here on this side. So now one was over here, one is down here, two was over here, two is now over here, right? All I did is just drop one. Okay. There's other ways you could number it, but this is how I prefer to do it, right? So now going back uh, to that uh, structure, right, we had over here, right? And then there is a wedge up here, and the CL, and then we have the dash over here, the methyl. Right, so now on this, the wedge on the on the chlorine is up because wedge means up, and on number one, the structure is down. It's down here, so up and down. That's not the same signs, right? So that will be on the equatorial, right? So chlorine on the equatorial, and then we have the hydrogen over here, right? Number two, number two, we have a dash, right? Dash means down, and on number two, we have it up. It's up here. So up, down, and up are not the same size. Therefore, it is equatorial, so it would be over here. Then the hydrogen over here. Okay. Let's do another example. Okay. Let's say if we have this structure over here. And you are given this structure. Actually, I'll erase that. That's not... You are given uh, this to draw, right? So we have a wedge up here. CH, you guys can see that. Chlorine. On this right here, we have a methyl group, CH3, right? And I numbered it like this one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? So we draw the ring structure for this. Right. 
Now number one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? So three, four, five, and six are not really that important because they're just hydrogens, right? But one and two is because they got the element and uh, the compound over here, methyl group. So now if we were to draw this on the structure, one over here, I've got the wedge. So chlorine has the wedge, wedge means up, and on the structure over here, one is up. So that means it will be on the axial, so chlorine on the axial. Next, on number two, we got a wedge. Wedge means up, but over here, the structure is down. So down, up, and down are, the, are not the same side, so we have to move it on the equatorial side. Uh, don't forget to draw the hydrogen, right? Now, we, we have to do a ring flip for this because we got the methyl group. We got actually the chlorine on the on the axial, and we don't want bulky groups on the axial side, so we got to put that on equatorial, so we do something called the ring flip, okay? So, so instead of numbering a 1, 2, let's number 1 and 2 over here, right? So now let's look back at the original problem. Number one, we got a wedge. Wedge means up, and over here, it's down. So up and down are not the same size. Therefore, it's on the equatorial side. Number two over here. Wedge means up. Over here, it's up. Up, up is on the same side. So that means it would be on the axial side. So again, I mean... I mean, yeah, I mean, yes, of course, it is on the axial side over here. It is on the axial side, but you know, the bulky group in this is the, uh, the chlorine because it has the atomic mass is more. So whatever has the higher atomic mass, that is the bulky group. At least this is this is on the equatorial, which we want because it has it's more mass. The molar mass is a lot, so we want this on the equatorial side there. Okay, we've got that. And uh, on here, we have the axial bits, okay. Uh, so this is how you do the ring flip for it. Because over here, it was on the axial side, and therefore over here is the equatorial side. So this is, you know, more stable, more stable. All right, okay, let's do another one. We have something like this, right? I can't draw today for some reason. Okay, sorry for the bad drawing, guys. We got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So here we got a wedge, right? But now I have a, a arrow going like this, right? So what if you see an arrow, arrow like a line, really? This is just ethyl. This is an ethyl, an ethyl group. So CH2, CH3 group. Right, this is an ethyl group. And now we have a dash over here. A methyl group, CH3. Right, so draw the ring structure for this. So number it one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so over here. We have a wedge on number one, and it's an ethyl group. So we know ethyl group is more bulkier. More has a higher molar mass than a methyl group. So this is a bulky group right here. We don't want this on the axial side. So let's see. So number one, we have a wedge, right? It's up. And over here, it's up also. So up, up, it's the same side. So that is axial. So you can just draw a uh, line like this. That's axial group. F ethyl group, that's ethyl group. Good job like that. Then on number three, so you can skip two because there's nothing here. On number three, we have a dash. Dash means down, and on up here, it's up. So down and up, that is two different sides. So this will be on the equatorial side. So something like this. Okay. So since we have the methyl group, the bulky group on the axial side, we don't want that. We want the bulky group on the equatorial side. So we have to do a ring flip. So all you got to do is just draw the, redraw the ring, renumber it differently. So one, uh, two, and then three. Okay, we could just forget about the rest because we don't really need them. So now again, look back to the original problem. On one, 
So add a dash. So the dash means up. Okay, up. And over here, number one, it's uh, down. Look, it's a down side. So up and down are two different sides. So that means it'll be on the equatorial side. So like that. Now, number three, it's a dash. Dash means down. Over here, it's down. So down, down, it's on the same side. So this will be on the axial side. Axial side. So we got the uh, bulky group to be on the equatorial side so therefore this is more more stable right more stable because the ring flip let's do another one let's go a little more challenging for this okay suppose we have this So, if I don't draw anything on top, it is a methyl group, so it's a CH3. Right, so just a 3H3. If, you, if your teacher doesn't write it in, it just means a CH3, a methyl group, right? And over here we have a tert butyl. Okay, so we know this is the bulky group, and we don't want this to be on the axial side. If it does, we got to draw a uh, ring flip for it. So let's number it. Now I've been numbering it over here one, two, right? This time I don't want to go all the way around and have this to be six. I want it to be you know easy to see. So therefore I'll renumber it. So one. Two, three, and four, five, and it's uh, six over here. But yes, that's how I number it. One, two, three. Right, let's draw the ring structure. Uh, uh, the chair conformation. And so we will number one, two, two, three, four, five, and six. Right. So on number one, we have a dash. This methyl group has a dash. The so dash means down and up here. One is up, right? So down and up on two different sides. So that means they'll be on the equatorial side. So CH3 will be over here. Then we have the hydrogen going over here. Next with number two, it's a wedge. Wedge means up. Over here, it's down. So down, up, and down. It's two different sides. So this will be on the equatorial side. So it's a CH3. Then we have hydrogen over here. Next, on number three, we have a wedge. Wedge means up. So up over here, number three, but over here is up also. So up, up on the same side, that means it's on the axial side. So then we draw it like this, the turk butyl, right? And the hydrogen over here. So we have the, on the axial side, we have the bulky group. We don't want this, so we just transfer it to do a ring flip. Now instead of numbering number one, two, we could do one, two, and three. Right. Let's go back to the original problem. Over here on number one, we have a dash. So dash, dash means down. Over here we have down, so down, down is on the same side. So that is axial. Right. On number two, we have a wedge. Wedge means up. Over here, it's up. The side is up, so up, up is on the axial side, so that means it will go over here like that. Uh, CH3, and then we have the hydrogen over here. Now, number three, it's a wedge. Wedge means up, and on number three, it's the structure over here, it's down, downside, right? So up and down is on two different sides, so that means it will be over here on the equatorial side, right? And we have hydrogen on the axial side. So there we go. We got the turd butyl to be on the equatorial side. So having the bulky group on the equatorial side is more stable. So therefore, this is more stable. Which is what we want. And that is how you draw the chair conformation.